Hi guys, I'm Glenice Hughes. I am the radio show host for Living in the Magic of Possibilities weekly radio show on Voice America, the Empowerment Channel. And this is the weekly TV show that I talk about something in regards to the show that I did. So this week's show was called the My Three Biggest Failures in 2015 that made me tons of money. Uh, so if you haven't listened, the link is below. You can click on that, you can download it, you can listen to it online. Um, I, I encourage you, if you'd like to change the money stuff uh, for yourself, to, to check it out. Now, I, I was inspired to share something that I was watching actually on a cartoon channel. A um, little bit of uh, secret stuff for hubby and I. We absolutely love uh, Shaun the Sheep. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It is a, an English claymation. Um, I'm not sure what else you call it, but it's kind of like a cartoon, but not really. And the hubby's, um, of course, English and uh, in invited me to it many years ago and we absolutely love it and the the shows Wallace and Gromit and there's just many different things I can't remember Parks maybe is the guy's last name who creates all of it it's just phenomenal anyway here we are in beautiful Australia and every night for 10 minutes uh, from 6 50 to 7 p.m. is Sean the Sheep and so we've been watching them and just enjoying them so much and so one night I was waiting for the uh, show to start and so it was on the cartoon channel and there was a five minute or something like that uh, cartoon uh, but I've never even seen it before I don't know what it is but what was inspiring to me is that in this cartoon they had um, it was like a basketball game and there was a queen who it's kind of like a big family and they were playing and the queen got to to set the rules and the kids knew what the rules should be but the queen was just wanted to do anything she could to make people happy and so kind of then okay well we want to have the the nets and oh and it was magic too that's right <clears throat> so they wanted to have the nets to have legs and they wanted the ball to have legs and just all of this really amazing fun stuff and it was so interesting because at one point the one guy on the team said to the queen, can we have a hundred million points please ma'am? And, and she said, sure, of course you can. And there was another kid who was just disgusted that all of these rules were being broken and changed and nothing was the way it was supposed to be. And he just, oh, and then another gal from the other team came up and said, can we have a hundred million points too, please? And she's like, sure. And so it was just this whole like really out there, really crazy, not following the rules at all. And this, this kid who was so upset by that and went up to the queen and said, but miss, don't you see? It's too easy now. And that's the piece that really inspired me because how much do we do that with money? Now, before you shut this off, before you go, you don't know what you're talking about, Glennies, um, just, just bear with me a minute, okay? Look at that. If you could walk up to the bank machine or to the bank teller and say, can I have $100 million, please? every day, all day, as many times as you desired, what if money was that easy? Yeah. Now, I know logically your head is saying, well, then I would do it. Don't be stupid. And would you? How much time and energy and entertainment <laughs> are you using with the problems with money that you're creating? Yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't have the problems with it, if money was super easy, if you could walk up to the bank machine and get a hundred million dollars whenever you desired. Yeah. Right. Just like that kid on the show. It's too easy. What if money is meant to be easy? What if it isn't a struggle? What if it isn't a fight? What if you stop distracting yourself with it? and just chose whatever you were going to choose. Now, I think it was last week's TV show that I talked about money also. So you may want to check that out if you haven't. Um, and really look at this, you guys, because 
so many of us require so much on the go, like I mean so much on the go, to keep ourselves entertained, to keep us from being bored and creating crap. And the less that we've got on the go, the more time that we have to create stuff that isn't going to create more in our life, like worrying about money, like fretting about it, like talking about how much you don't have, uh, you know, all of that stuff that we put so much energy in. And I, I can speak from experience, believe me, I have used money as a direct as a distraction for the majority of my life. It's only been in the last couple of years that I chose to stop. And what has been so freaking cool is that when I chose to stop distracting myself with money and money problems and do I have enough and I should have enough and those people have more and I uh, uh, <laughs> when I stopped is when I stopped having problems with money. I know, I know it sounds crazy and I wonder. I wonder if you could start asking yourself when you're when you're playing with that crazy, when you're going down the rabbit hole of not enough money or drama trauma with money, could you ask yourself truth? Am I distracting myself with this right now? And if it's a yes, you could use the access consciousness tools that of course I talk all about all the time and say I just destroy and uncreate everything that is. You could run the clearing statement which is right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pox, shorts, boys and beyonds, which you can go to theclearingstatement.com for more information about how to do that and what, how that works. Like really look at this you guys, if you're truly, truly, truly desiring to change the money crazy in your life, look at how much time and energy you're wasting on it because does it change it you know just sit, sitting around talking about how much money you don't have does that ever change how much money you have <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it doesn't so you can and it's not about pretending either it's not going oh no I've got five million dollars in the bank when you maybe only have five dollars it's not about that it's about not looking at that as the answer or the solution or the problem or any of it it's just an aspect. So be like, okay, well, what can I create today? What can I choose today? What else is possible here that I've never even considered? And one of the things that I shared on the previous video was not asking, hey, what's it going to take to make the money to go to that class? It's like, what's it going to take to go to that class? Like get out of the money drama trauma and into the possibilities. Yeah. Because what else is possible for all of us with money that we've never even considered? Yeah, and that is a question that I use constantly and not from a desperation like, oh, I got to figure this out, but from a really spacious, playful place. And I use it for everything. You guys might have heard me on the radio show with different everything, like everything, like what else is possible here with blah, money, my body, relationship, Da, 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 business whatever that I've never considered before and the reason that we add never considered before or never imagined possible it's about taking it beyond like really beyond what you've never imagined possible and that includes every lifetime so if there was a lifetime that you were a multi-billionaire <laughs> and you're asking now what's possible with money that I've never considered before it goes beyond that too so what else is possible for you to create money, for you to have money, for you to be playful with money that you've never imagined before? What can you create that you've never been willing to acknowledge you can create? What can you choose that you've never been willing to acknowledge that you can choose? Yeah, right? Can you get that expansiveness? And really look at next time you go to the, the rabbit hole with the money crazy, check in. Am I distracting myself with this? What could I be choosing right now that would create more than playing with this money crazy? Yeah. Now, the other part of that, and again, I'm pretty sure I talked about this on the other video, but I'll probably talk about it on most videos, is when you do do the money crazy, the first question, one, it can be that one, the distraction, but also acknowledge is this mine? And even if you get a yes, I can promise you it's not. So please hear my voice in your head when you go there, because it's not. It's not. It's not yours. It never has been yours. It never will be yours. We'll buy it as ours so we can entertain ourselves and distract ourselves, but it's not yours. 
so everywhere you bought the lie that it is yours and always has been yours and will be yours forever and ever whew, will you destroy it and create all that right wrong good bad online pipe up shorts boys and beyonds yeah because what else is possible for creating and having more money than you've never imagined possible yeah play in that space for a while yeah yummy all right thank you so much for listening in here we are at the beautiful i'm not even sure what this beach's name is uh, but it's gorgeous and it's on uh, between Cairns and port douglas hubby and i came for a beautiful drive this morning and oh my gosh is it amazing so before i end off because i know this is a little bit dark just where i have to stand in the sun i'm actually going to just take and uh, videotape some of the the ocean because it's that really beautiful turquoise blue that you see in a lot of um, pictures and stuff and it's just amazing and it's an absolutely empty beach and it's something like noon here so how does it get any better thank you universe Again, I'm Glenice Hughes, host for Living in the Magic of Possibilities, and I look forward to talking to you next week.